All right, so this video is going to be part one of our limit comparison test practice. Okay, so we want to determine if the series is convergent or divergent using the limit comparison test. And we have the series, the sum from n equals one to infinity of n over n squared plus one. All right, so remember what the limit comparison test says. Okay, so we're all on the same page here. The limit comparison test says, if the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n over b sub n equals c, okay, and this c is finite and it's greater than zero, then we know that both the series a sub n and b sub n will either converge or they will both diverge, okay? So first we need to figure out, we know our a sub n that's going to be n over n squared plus one, but we need to figure out the what we're going to compare to here, and that's b sub n, okay? So, how do we find that b sub n? Well, really, it's kind of just like with the comparison test, all right? The first thing we want to do is just eliminate those constants that are kind of just dangling on the end. If we do that, then we end up with, well, the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of n over n squared, Okay, just eliminating that plus one. And then that turns into, of course, one over n because you have this n cancel out with the square here, okay? Now, our b sub n, that's gonna be one over n and our a sub n, that's n over n squared plus one, okay? The a sub n is our series. The b sub n is the series that we're comparing to. So let's put that in our limit formula. The limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n, n over n squared plus one, over one over n, we need to figure that out. So if we put this n to the top here, we will end up with the limit as n approaches infinity of n squared over n squared plus one. Now, if you want to, you can divide everything by n squared. You can use lobby tau, whatever you want to do in this case, Dividing everything by n squared will be faster. You have an n squared over n squared over an n squared over n squared plus 1 over n squared. Okay, this will be 0, of course. This is 1 and this is 1, so you get 1 over 1. That's equal to 1. Now, 1, that's finite and greater than 0. That means that either both these series converge or they both diverge. Okay, now we know that this series diverges. That means that both will diverge. And that means that the series is divergent by the limit comparison test. Now, what will happen if you pick the wrong comparison? Okay, let's say that you didn't pick this as your comparison. Let's say that you wanted to compare to, well, what's close to this. If you eliminate the n, you end up with 1 over n squared plus 1, and that kind of reminds you of arctan, right? When you take the integral of that, that's arctan. So let's just say that you did that compared to the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n squared plus 1. Now, this is actually, you know, it's kind of nice when you put it in the limit. You take your limit as n approaches infinity, and you get n over n squared plus 1, over 1 over n squared plus 1. Okay, well, those n squared plus 1s are going to cancel out. You're going to be left with the limit as n approaches infinity of n. And of course, that's going to equal infinity. So you're not going to be able to use the limit comparison test here because this c, right, your whatever you get as your, I guess, product of the limit. Okay, that has to be finite and greater than zero. Infinity is not. Okay, so you have to choose a different comparison. That's what that's telling you. Okay, that's telling you that your comparison is not correct. So now what about this series here? The sum from n equals one to infinity of two n squared minus one over three n to the fifth plus two n plus one. Okay, now the first thing we need to do is find a function to compare this to. And what could we compare this to here? Well, honestly, I would take the highest powers of n in both of these 
uh, well, this is a binomial, this is a polynomial. Okay, so if we did that, we get the sum from n equals 1 to infinity, of course, of, well, let's not worry about these coefficients here, okay, and let's forget about this 2n plus 1, let's forget about this minus 1. We just have an n squared over n to the fifth. Those are our highest powers of n on the top and bottom. And that simplifies down to the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n cubed. We know this converges. So if we take the limit and c, our product of the limit, ends up being finite and greater than 0, we know that this series will converge. Okay, so let's get to it. We take the limit as n approaches infinity of our a sub n, which is going to be 2n squared minus 1 over 3n to the fifth plus 2n plus 1. Okay, remember, our a sub n is our series. Our b sub n, which is going to be on the bottom, is a series that we're comparing to, which is 1 over n cubed. Now, we can put this n cubed to the top here. We're going to get the limit as n approaches infinity of 2n squared minus 1. We're going to multiply by n cubed here. That's going to be over 3n to the fifth plus 2n plus 1. The limit as n approaches infinity of this is now a 2n to the fifth minus n to the third over 3n to the fifth plus 2n plus 1. Okay, now it's pretty easy to see what's going to happen here. Okay, you can divide everything by n to the fifth, that's fine. You know, if you're a little, if you, if you feel pretty good with limits and all that stuff, then you kind of can just see here that your answer is going to be two thirds. Okay, that's going to be the product of your limit. Now, that is, that's greater than zero and it's a finite number. Okay, that means that we know that either both these series are going to converge or both these series are going to diverge. We know that this is convergent, okay? It's a P series and that P is greater than one. Okay, our P is that, that exponent right here, okay? It it's from the form one over n to the P, that's why we call it a P series, okay? If you haven't watched that video yet, but if you haven't, definitely go check that one out if that's something that's confusing to you, okay? But we know that this series converges. That means that this series is convergent by the limit comparison th test. And that's going to do it for this video. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for sequences and series, the explanation video for the limit comparison test, and the next video in the series. Lastly, if these videos are really helping you and you would like to consider supporting me, I have my Patreon linked in the description down below, along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon.